Hey guys, it's Nick, also known as Zippy Zombo. This is going to be a video showing my brand new BG12 pull station and my silent switch and my disable switch with my Wheelock CH70 fire alarm. So, first off, I'm going to explain how this is wired. So, you get your power from the power strip goes into this, which is actually for a printer. It outputs 30 volts DC. The negative wire goes straight into the chime. Or, my... Or, yes, it goes right into the negative on the chime. Then the positive goes through all these crazy combinations. The positive goes out to this. This is a main power switch. Then after that, it goes out through this wire, combines with this one, and it goes into the BG12. And then this wire here goes out from the BG12, goes into the silent switch. Then the other wire goes out of the silent switch and goes directly into the chime part of the CH70. Then the yellow wire that comes out of the BG12 goes out and then goes straight into the positive on the strobe connection. I think I've went over everything. So now let's just get the system ready to go off by flipping on the power and flipping off the silence. Oh, and the reason this isn't in one of these, the reason this isn't one in one of these is because this won't fit in here like this one does. It's a little bit different sized. So I'm gonna first off go ahead and unlock this with the Allen wrench. And you can see this is different from what I'm using earlier because this I found in my basement on the floor behind some stuff and it actually fits this so I decided to use it. So let's open that up. I'm not going to open it, I'm just wanting it unlocked. One thing, I actually am going to open it up first. One thing I don't like about the BG12 is the fact that it latches with that piece of plastic and I always feel like it's going to break. But anyway, okay. So everything's ready to go, the power's hooked up, let's do it. Oh, and I'm going to talk about mounting this after I set it off. If you have a history of seizures or epilepsy, I think I said that right, do not watch this video. Three, two, one. Strobe is so bright, it's a 1575 Candela. And obviously the camera never picks up strobe flashes, right, because they're so bright. So now I'm going to demonstrate my silence and disable switch. So I'm going to flip this to the middle because it's a three-way switch, which makes it silence. And then this will disable it. So I put that in the middle. Then I open up this, BG12. And then I know you don't have to do this. But I always just flip up on that switch, just so it doesn't have to put pressure on that. Push that back closed, and it's good. Demonstrate it again to turn it back on. I flip that switch. Hold on. Flip that switch down, flip that switch down, and then I can pull that. So I will silence that. And disable it. Open that up. Turn it off. Oh, and this idea here was given to me by Rano Kabat. He was the one that t gave me a wiring diagram of how to do this, because he used to have a system that ran with a switch, except he had a key for the main power. Oh, and talking about mounting this system, I my mom said that I would I am allowed to mount this in the attic. I have to get a back box for the CH70, and I already have this here back box for the um, BG12. That's actually for a light switch like that, but it works, so I just put it in there. But the only problem with mounting it in the attic is there's no air conditioning or heat there, so it's going to be really hot right now. So I have to wait until it gets colder to do it, and then after it... Um, then whenever it starts getting too warm, I'll have to come back in, but for now. Alright, so I'm going to set it off one more time. Three, two, one.
All right, so let's silence that. And disable it. And reset the pull. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Okay. So that's my system. And I will probably do a video in the future of me showing you where I would mount my fire alarm in the attic. And thanks for watching.